Not guys, I know you guys weren't expecting me to upload a video so early, but to me, I've since there, I've already done my top uh, ten worst cartoon characters list. There is still some honorable and dishonorable mentions I want to give out. These are characters that either were too good for the list, that were too good for the list, or just too bad, really bad characters to deserve their mentions. So without further ado, let's check it out. Dee Dee from Dexter's Lab. Just annoying. That's all I have to say. Myrtle from Lulu and Stitch, the movies and the series. She is so rude. Yeah. In fact, in fact, guess what? I might, you might as well call her Myrtle the Turtle, Turtle, Turtle. Yeah, got that from Dark Knot too. Boog from you all probably know. I'm not gonna say it. This guy keeps pushing everybody to eat at his place. He's so unlikable. So glad I didn't include him on the list. Pizza Steve from Uncle Grandpa. That name? You know I can't stand Pizza Steve. Who would have not, who would have not had this piece of crap? Pizza, pizza crap of pizza. Ha! Get the pun? When you actually say a piece of S or pizza crap, it sounds like you're actually saying pizza instead of piece of but who would have not had this pizza steve on their list the only reason i did not include him is because you know, sometimes it's okay he would have been on the dishonorable mention section if his jealousy didn't get the best of it got the list nicole watterson a nice, a caring mother to Gumball Darwin in the 90s. I don't care what Joseph D. Nicola, Nicolaia says. Don't listen to her. Nicole is great. Squilliam from Spongebob. Two Spongebob characters. Now this is the third. Man, Squilliam, you boy! Boy, Squilliam, you being rude to Squidward? Boy, you better get that out of here. Thank you. I give credit for dang Matt Smith from that. D.W. For Reed. From Arthur. Arthur's little sister. She tried, just like Sarah. Just like Sarah and Zara, Vicky, and Angelica Pickles. She is not getting into. She's not like Sarah, but she tries to get into Sarah. Well, because she. Because of bad things. Things. DW gets Arthur in trouble despite the fact that she cares. Get out of here, DW. I don't want to ever see you again. Remember also how I said that Dick Harley was a bad character? Well, not only that. Not only that, Princess Morbux is awful as well. No joke. That's all I have to say. You suck. Miss Simeon from Gumball. Yeah, I remember I always said she was going to be number one. I take that back. She's not, she's not good, she's not bad, she's average, okay? It's okay. She's kind of okay, and hilarious at times. Except in the episode eight. Next, that awful preschool teacher from the I was a preschool dropout episode of my life as a teenage robot. Boy! Boy, you know I can't stand this woman. I mean, I mean, it's not like, I mean, it's not like she actually cares. Like in this scene in particular, after this kid throws the ball, she said, look at her. What 
the heck? Look, you shouldn't be doing that. When someone gets hurt, you shouldn't be doing that. To me, that's just racist. You suck. And I do not like her. Why did I not mention her now? Well, first of all, she doesn't qualify any other things. She just aggravates me. And I cannot believe she would do anything like this. In fact, she makes me so mad right now. I want to move on. Okay, forget it. I'm moving on. Oh, boy. So, yeah, Foster Thomas is an inner show. But later seasons, Blue comes bad. I don't, I, I guess I'm kind of cheating with this one because Blue is a pretty good character. But as Foster's home went on, he didn't get, got bad. Like Mac Daddy or I have only have surprise for you. I have fact, I only have surprise for you is one of the top three worst cartoon episodes of all time. And the worst episode of Foster's Home. And when Blue kind of, when it, the, when these later seasons roll around, there was the foul taste left on the show, and he was charging people for money anyways. I don't get the fact that this is so stupid. I get you something. Blue is not bad. Bendy is still kind of, is worse than this. But you know what? Blue is the main character, and as the series gone on, he got worse and worse. And, and I completely get that. But, to me, this is not okay. You ruined the main character and turned into something into a foul taste in the viewer's mouth. Mouth. Also, while we're on the subject of happy tree friends, I've got to talk about Mr. Harriman. Because, well, he is not the worst character, but out of the top three, he's pretty bad. He's bad. Just, he's too bad. I don't care. He's bad. Just, just, you, people say he's annoying in some way. I don't get that. And we realize that he doesn't believe anyone. I mean, I expect, I mean, he didn't believe them when Benny did. And I did expect this crap from Mr. Harriman. Wait, what I didn't expect is for Frankie to believe him. Frankie, really? I was very disappointed. Mr. Hammond is just not good. In fact, he's one of the main problems on the series alone. I'm serious about this. Serious about this. And now, here we go. The top, now time for the other new cartoons that suck. Oh boy, Angelica Pickles. No regrets. No regrets. If this is on anybody's best cartoon characters list, I am going to get angry as I was in the part two video. There's no sense for this at all. Let's not forget Lucy from the Peanuts series. She is worse than... She's like, she was Angelica before Angelica even existed. And also, she basically, um, and all Patrick's jerk traits. The rudeness of the, the Robinsons. And, and the Linus, and she lies like Bendy. Mishmash them all together, you get Lucy Van Pelt. She is a jerk. I want to move on. Don't forget Kevin from Ed and Eddie. He is not good. He's not that bad, though. I mean, people like to hate on him because he revealed... Oh, God. And he calls the Ed's names like Dork and stuff. But he's okay. But other than that, he's a punk. Punk! Okay, final character is Iggy from Hannah. I cannot believe this. This guy is just so stupid and rude. So when he betrays, when Anna betrays him, he um doesn't, he doesn't forgive him, and 
he says sorry, but when, um, he has to wear the pajamas, Ronald has to wear the bunny pajamas, just, why? And okay, and when he, and when, uh, when he pawned G, he did not forgive him, and I totally understand, I don't care about that, but I do care is that, that all these characters are bad. And, like, the fact that there's only a couple handful of characters. I can list all the good characters in these Donald Rollinses in one hand. This character is not. To me, he's selfish like Lucy Van Velt and Bendy combined. And, I'm done. Well, guys, that was the top... Well, that was my top ten worst cartoon characters, honorable and dishonorable mentions. This was my opinion, and I'm glad you enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed this list, and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye.